Hey everybody, Matemis Houghton here. Today I'm going to be doing a new and improved um, video on how to install Minecraft Forge and uh, any mods for 1.7.10 or 1.8, but I'm choosing 1.7.10 because most mods that are out right now are for that version of Minecraft. So what you're going to first want to do is type in Minecraft Forge Downloads and it should be a uh, yeah files.minecraftforge.net right here and it'll show you all the different versions of Forge that you can install. So for us, we're going to be doing the 1.7.10 recommended. So go over here and where it says installer, click that. It'll bring you to an ad fly link as usual. Most of these downloads do. Uh, so just wait until it's done and then skip it. It'll give you the download. You just keep it. Um, so now you have the file. Go ahead and open it up and it'll open up a little tiny window that's only going to be about this big it's very small um... it takes a second there it is okay yep. um... so you can install client or you can install minecraft forge uh... you can make yourself a minecraft forge server so you can put make, put mods on your server which is what i used to do but it's very laggy so you know i wouldn't recommend it unless you have a beefy computer um... so just hit install client and hit ok and it'll start installing Forge into your Minecraft. It sh it's pretty slow because this is a bad computer. I'm not using my normal computer that I do usually. But there we go. It's installed. Um, so now that's already installed. So that's that. Now, um, pick a mod. So I'm going to install the Mutant Creatures mod because I love that mod. Uh, so look for the 1.7.10 version. And I actually prefer Minecraft IO to download my mods from because it's pretty straightforward. I don't know why, I just like this I just like this website because it's got all the mods that I need except for the next one that I'm getting, which is kind of stupid. But anyways, so I'll hit the download button and there we go. <coughs> Excuse me, mutant creatures. Uh, Alright. And is this it? Oh, this is for 1.6.2. Wrong website. <laughs> so, sometimes this website isn't the best, I guess. But, uh... Let me find... Oh, no, that website never works. God damn it. What do I... What website should I use? All right, well, we'll just do that. And we'll just do Mutant Creatures Mod 1.7.10. Uh, don't get in... Do not get an installer. See how that says installer? It's usually all the installers are by Skydaz. Don't get an installer. Get a normal one. So this is the website. This is a good website <coughs> to download from. Because Minecraft Forum is very reliable. So... Let me wait for it to load. Scroll down a little bit. So, right now the mod has mutant endermen, skeleton creeper, um, zombie, snow golems, and they're working on a spider. So you can spawn in like a buggy mutant spider. It doesn't have any texture, it's just white. Um, so just download mutant creatures version 1.4.8 for MC1710. Um, there we go. Okay, so... Uh, is that the right download button? I think it is. Uh, up, oh, maybe not. I don't want M Player X. Oh, it's down here. Download mutant creatures. Add fly. Oh God, there's something playing. Oh, I forgot this website, Minecraft Projects. If you go on this website, it always um plays an ad. You just saw it. Hate that. Oh, it's not enabled. Great. Let me restart it. Okay. So now it will. There we go. It's starting. Okay. So as soon as this is done, we click skip add. There we go. And it should install. Okay. So I have mutant creatures 1.7. Jar. Don't open it. Uh, and in my case, for mutant creatures to work, you need uh, something called animation API for 1.7.10. That's just a thing that um, works for most mods like this that have complicated animated entities or yourself like animated player mod for example requires this so uh... animation api right here i'll get version one two four even though this is one two three i think it has one two four on it because i was looking at this page earlier when i installed the mod for myself on my other computer um... okay so here we have animation api version one point two point four for minecraft one point seven point ten so click that once again, we get the ad fly link, and, oh yeah, that's great. Don't pay attention to anything it ever shows you in the front. It's useless. And skip ad. It'll install. 
keep it. And now I'm going to minimize. So now you're going to go into Macintosh uh, HD. I'm going to maximize it. Oh, okay then. I said I was going to maximize it. Thank you. Okay. So um, I have it highlighted on my computer. So you're going to want to go to Users, whoever you are, um, Library, Application Support, Minecraft, and then click on Mods. So uh, the Mods folder will have already been created. If you, oh, um, yes, it will have. But you once you get Forge installed, you have to open Minecraft and just start start uh, Minecraft with Forge, and then you can just close back out of it. Um, because that should create the folder, and if it doesn't create the folder automatically, you can just literally go into your Minecraft folder and create a folder called Mods, all lowercase, and it'll work. So now that you have that folder, you're going to want to go back to your um, your Mods and just drag them in. So I got Mutant Creatures, and hold on, I got Animation API. So that's that. Now I can just start up Minecraft. So, as you can see, we have our Mods. X out of that. Um... Yep, that's great. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. It's going really slow cuz I have uh cuz I'm recording cuz I have QuickTime open. Uh, yes, I use QuickTime player to record my videos because it's simple. Um All right. Wait for this to load. It'll take a while. If you're opening Forge, Minecraft with Forge, I mean for the first time, it'll take a little bit longer than it normally does. For me, it's not going to take too bad. Uh, so let me make it bigger. Five mods loaded. So if I go in, it'll have the three that are already required when you or that already installed themselves when you get Forge. Animation API, mutant creatures. So I'm going to create a new single player world. Again, it's going to take a ten minutes to load because I have three hundred and something worlds. No, I'm not even kidding. I have like three hundred worlds. They date all the way back to August 21st of 2012, so almost three years. All right. So now um, I just call this YouTube Mod Test uh, Creative Mode. I'm gonna do super flat, just so this is easier. All right. So we'll create our world just to make sure these mods installed. And let's see two pages. So that. All right, so here we got mutant creatures. We got the chemical X, which is used to throw at a mob, and it'll infect the mob and possibly turn it into a mutant, mutant or kill it. But as you can see, we have our mutant creeper, uh, creeper minion, which I'll spawn in in a minute. Um, we have the creeper minion, the Hulk hammer, and the Ender Soul hand, which are the items I'm only going to show off. So now I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mod showcase, really, really not really a showcase, but just kind of looking at some of the items. So it's got the items. You can see they work. Um, that is the um, mutant spider that I was talking about. Here, let me uh, get some sort of weapon. Let me just give myself an OP weapon really quickly. I like to code stuff like this. Uh, 16, come to level 100. All right, I got a sharpness 100 diamond sword. Uh, so that is what the mutant spider will look look like in the 1.8 versions, I'm guessing. But as you can see, it's following the pig. Ah. So it appears to like to attack um, non-hostile animals, but it has no sounds. It just sounds like when you punch a player in, like, yeah, when you punch someone, pretty much. Um, nothing drops, because it's very new. But here we have the mutant zombie. As you can see, the mod has successfully installed, obviously. Um, we got the mutant zombie. Uh, then we got our mutant enderman. Oh god. He's actually killing the uh, zombie. Whoa, okay, he shot me away. Oh, pig's dead. Alright, so let's see if I can kill this zombie. Alright, well, whatever. Then there's the mutant snow golem, which they actually fight for you, so if he were to see him like that, 
they throw blocks of ice instead of snowballs. Uh, so they actually just got into a little brawl there. Then we have this Ender Soul Hand, which can pick up blocks and throw them at entities. Or you can use it to redecorate your house. Also, sometimes if the if the if it glitches out, you can hold two at a time. If you hold Shift and right click, it'll teleport you wherever you're looking. For example, I'm looking at that uh, that floating block, that block that I placed. As you can see, I'm teleported right on top of it. Looking at that one now, right on top, and I can just go back and forth. So I can teleport to the mutant zombie if I wanted to. Um, you have the mutant skeleton, which is pretty badass. He looks really badass. Um, and he drops his body parts when he dies. Uh, you have your mutant creeper. And it might crash my game when he explodes. Nope, it didn't. Alright, and then he spawns a little egg for the creeper minion. And then, of course, you have your creeper minion, which you can... Let me clear... Oh, no, let's not clear. Now let's clear. Uh, so as you can see, you have your creeper minion. You can make him sit and stuff. Uh, you can get... I, it's some sort of item that lets you mod it, uh, modify his stats. There you go. So if you look at his creeper stats, you can feed him different things, I believe. Um, no, you can't. Well, um, creeper minion, you can change the name. You can have him destroy blocks. Oh, oh god. The mutant zombie is after me now. Um, Alright, that killed him. So anyways... That was, uh, oh, he's following me. That was how to install Forge and how to install mods. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, like the video if you really liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Also, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to my new website that I have created. Um, yeah, so, oh, and I'll be putting this video on the homepage of that website because this is probably one of my most useful videos. Um, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching the video.